Hello, good morning. My name is Bernarda Aguilar. I'm, I'm a student at MDC Wilson campus, and I'm going to talk about Youth with the Head of a Lorbrand. Youth with the Head of a Lorbrand is an oil painting located in the Lower Art Museum at the University of Miami. It was painted by Pietro Dandini in Florence, Italy in the period of 1617 and 1680. The oil painting is a biblical scene influenced by the European literature and the art of the Middle Ages. It's the story of a Jewish widow who saved the Israelites by beheading the ancient general Olofrens. The painting is composed by three elements, a young woman, an old lady, and the head, a man's head. It is a two-dimensional composition where the bodies organized in organic form. The artist uses an outline to help the audience to understand and define the shapes better. However, the artist distributes the elements in an asymmetrical space. There are more elements in the left side than in the right side. The intention, the intention of the meaning is to create an illusion of chaos. It is, it is a practical it is a practical notice that the scene demonstrates the tension and uncomfortable situation that both women are dealing with. The shape of the young woman and the head of Olorfrens are located in a center, in the center, grouped in a triangular form. The top of the pyramid is the head of the young woman. Then the head of as the heavy garment continues to form the triangular shape. However, the old lady is located behind you. This creates a distortion in the composition. The overlapping between these two females creates a deep as contrast. The distance between the young and the old periods of age is emphasized. The intention, the intention is not only to symbolize the different ages that women can have in a period of time. It also to demonstrate the sense of humanity in the cannabis. At the same time, it, show, it shows the period of beauty and how this physical beauty is gone with the time. The softness and the light colors of the young woman contrast with the dark colors of the, um, and rock skin with, the, with wrinkles that are characteristic of an old person. Even though we cannot see the body of the old lady because of the black veil that covers her, we can assume that the artist's intention was to provoke a sense of preservation. We can assume also that the old lady is not fleshy as youth because of her older age demonstrating in her skinny face and also the form of the black veil that flows into a shape of an old lady. Her wrinkles and position behind you symbolize the weaknesses and wisdom. The old woman could be advising the young lady or could be scared of the actions that she just made. In the black veil, in her hair and body, focus her wrinkles as the black veil in her hair and body focus her wrinkles as her awakening eyes looking in the west. The diagonal look echoes the looking of the young woman. Be both females are looking in the same location. This means that they have the same interest. The moment that we see the old lady's eyes, there is a notion of an uh, ima imaginary line that follows the fresh face of the young woman. Then the imaginary line contains the mysterious locations that is west. Because of this echo, there is a contrast with faces and a sense of rhythm. In the contrast with you, demonstrate the courage and physical strength that the old woman doesn't have. Her position creates movement in the painting. It looks like Jude recently finished a murder. Even though half of the body is covered by a heavy garment, however, her right leg is a sense is seen as the right foot. The foot elaborate, is, is elaboration is delicate pose with some kind of jewelry in it. This symbolizes the richness of the character as her female touch. 
Also, the food almost out of the canvas creates again more tension for of the situation. For me, it is like if you wants to get out of the frame and run away because of the mirror she just made. The different heights of the bodies alert the, alert the equilibrium of the composition. The artist again transmit to the audience a sense of disorder that, bo that bothers them. Even though it is a picture without a landscape, it has a smooth black color as background. This background emphasizes the three bodies, the three bodies or three elements to be highlighted in the painting. The intensive of light captures the face, neck, and shoulder of the young woman. Also, in the head of Olafrance, there is a focus of the light provoke, that provokes. It seems that the light came from the right side, illuminating only some parts of the composition. The artist uses light colors too. This creates a lighter, lighter tones. It also is known as a theatrical drama painting where the light, the violent action, and the expression as the symbols help the picture to be more theatrical. Furthermore, the use of red in the chickness contrasts with her white skin of the young woman. The absence of the scratches and the, the furthermore the uses of the red chickness contrasts with their white skin. The absence of the scratches and the fleshy body are symbols of a healthy woman. The fact that the young woman is showing some of her left breath creates a sense of sexuality and seduction. The elegant red garment that covers her fleshy body contrasts with the white of her skin. This creates an attention of the audience. The movement of the cloth is the evidence of her crime. The red color in the garment creates an illusion of body as passion. In the top of the sword, there is a shape of a vagina created by the red garment. This symbolizes the seduction of youth the seduction of you to accomplish her goal. The painting demonstrates some rich objects of the room of Olofrance. This symbols his richness and power character that he is. The white mattress over the gold lion structure is a representation of the power and courage of youth as from Olofrance. Both, both of the arms of the young woman are holding things. The right arm is holding a sword the strength in which the young woman holds the sword demonstrates his power and courage. The direction of the sword points the head of a reference. On the other hand, the left arm holds the dead head with a safe, savage and hate emotion. She holds the head from the hair. It gives a notion of disgust, disgust from her and a sense of distance. In one event is so this one event is so emotional. The use of expression, energy, violence of the young woman as the scaredness of the old lady transmits by their facial expression demonstrate the drama. The use of tenorism also creates more theatrical aspect. The painting for me is so expressive that makes the specter part of the murder. Thank you. Have a nice day.